Hello, welcome to my channel, Cats Come Out and Homebody. My name is Amy. Today is going to be a baking video. Today I am going to bake one of my favorite desserts. I haven't baked it on this channel yet, but it's my favorite recipe for blondie. Blondies with chocolate chip, which is a very, very yummy recipe. And it's very quick. Not a lot of ingredients, but before we do that, let me just show you outside because it's a very, very rainy Monday today. Whenever I look outside, Chipper has to look because he thinks I'm looking at something in the backyard when I'm just looking at the nature of the backyard. All right, let me show you where I got this, this recipe from. And I will post the recipe in the description of this video, but let me show you where the recipe comes from first. I'm going to say about 25 years ago when Joe and I were living in Arizona, Oh, Chipper's playing with his bone now on the wooden floor. Couldn't be any louder. Wow. Okay, so when Joe and I lived in Arizona in the 90s, there was a used bookstore that we loved to go to. And I used to get the best books for a couple dollars. And we would go there at night with a cup of coffee and we would spend three hours looking at the books in this bookstore because Joe and I love books. So at this bookstore I found this set and this is by Country Living the magazine but I found this set of baking books and it comes in this cute little box and there are four books and they're literally in perfect condition still even after all these years. I've kept them very good. So there are four books. This is Cakes and Cupcakes, Breads and Muffins, Pies and Tarts, and Cookies and Crackers. And I have made so many things over the years from these little recipe books. But the book that I use the most is the Cookies and Crackers book. And then the next one I use the most is the cakes and cupcakes. Um, I haven't used the breads and muffins as much or the pies and tarts as much as those two books. Although I have made a lot of breads and muffins from this book. All right, so we're gonna put these three books away and we're gonna be using the cookies and crackers books. Isn't that so cute? I love it. It's a gift that keeps on giving because I keep, I keep using it. What a great little recipe set. All right, so let me show you. It's gonna open pretty well to the Blondie recipe because I use this recipe so much that it just naturally, oh, the book opens up to the Blondie's recipe. This is probably the recipe that I use the most. And again, I will put this Blondie recipe in the description of the video. I've already taken out some of the ingredients I have a little bit of chopped walnuts left over. I'm gonna pop those into the batter, but it's not really much. I have my chocolate chips out that I keep in this glass container. I have some salt, some baking powder, and then I'm gonna be using my flour and my brown sugar, which I keep in these canisters. Um, and then I'm gonna need a stick of butter and two eggs. That's pretty much all the ingredients that we're gonna need. So we're gonna hand mix this. I'm also going to preheat the oven for 350 degrees. Let's do that now. Preheat the oven to 350. So that's preheated now. Okay, so this recipe is going to make a square of blondies. So I have my square, my square baking tray that I am going to cover with some parchment paper and pour the batter on that. And that way I can just pull the blondies out of the pan and it'll be much easier to cut them later. So that's what we're gonna do. I have that set up. 
I have my bowl. I need a big spoon. I have to melt my butter and get the two eggs out of the refrigerator. And then we're gonna whip together some delicious blondies. So I do like to make homemade brownies, but honestly, I like this blondies recipe better than the brownies that I make. This is a great blondies recipe. All right, let me get my butter out so we can melt it in the microwave and then we will mix up this batter. I used a, I think it was a nine by nine square pan. I set the timer for 25 minutes. I'm gonna test it with my cake tester. If it's wet in the middle still, I'll bake it another five minutes. It should be baked by 30 minutes, um, but it might be done in 25, so I don't wanna over bake it. So that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna clean up and then we'll look at them when they come out of the oven. I just wanted to show you this little terracotta bee. This is a softener for my brown sugar container. So I soak it for 10 minutes, and I do this every time I bake. So I soak it for 10 minutes. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna pat it down with a paper towel. Let me go get a paper towel. I'm just gonna dry it off. Okay, it's dried off, but it's damp. And I'm gonna stick this in my canister that I have for my brown sugar that I keep on the counter. We just nestle it in there. We seal it up and that will keep the brown sugar from getting hard. It is an amazing tool and it really works. So if I come in here in a month, this brown sugar will still be soft.
Thank you for joining me on this rainy day. Look how dark it is. Um, you can hear the rain on the roof. Chipper's losing his mind. He can't believe the nerve of the rain to come on our roof. But it's really, really raining out. Thanks for joining me. So the blondies came out really good. Let's look at them. Let me try a piece. Wow, you can really hear the rain now. All right, so this is the, br the blondie. I'm gonna try it. Came out really good. Very, very good. What a yummy rainy day snack. All you have to do is put together a quick blondies recipe. Yummy, yummy. It was really good. I've made this recipe for 20 years. Believe me, it's a good recipe. Thank you guys for joining me today for this quick baking recipe. I hope it's not raining where you are. Well, we're not getting any drought this year. No droughts in the Catskills. So I guess that's good news. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be packing up these blondies now. Thanks for joining me again. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.